Hello, and welcome to week three of our preseason videos that I'm doing. And so, what we're going to be doing in this episode is it's going to be slightly different to the other ones, um, and we're going to do something called the Cooper Run. Um, so, you may have heard of that, uh, it may still be in some people's nightmares, but that's basically what we're going to do for uh, this part of the session. So, let's get straight into it. So, the Cooper Run, and what I'm going to do is the modification for myself, is I have got 12 minutes on my timer here. So I'm going to take this round with me, uh, and you as well. Don't worry, I'm not going to take you for the whole thing. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a 12 minute run around the hockey pitch. And uh, the way I'm going to marker it, so you can either do this kind of outside normally and maybe track it with um, anything, uh, kind of, you know, any running app that measures distance. For the sake of uh, kind of what I've got around me uh, and the fact that I'm not going to use a running track app, I'm going to use hockey balls. So basically what's going to happen is this. Every time I run past this mark here, so this is the midline to the pitch, every time I go all the way around here and then come back here, what I'm going to do is basically take a ball out of this bag, drop it out there, and that means that will signify one completed lap for myself. So basically I'm going to measure it in how many laps I do in that 12 minutes. So hopefully we should get about, I'm thinking, fingers crossed, five or six. Um, so that's what I'm hoping for anyway at least. So we're gonna I'm gonna take you on the first lap and then we'll go around from there. Okay, so 12 minutes, no cutting corners, so if you are doing this, so we're gonna go three, two, one, off you go. Okay, so this is a little bit different to kind of what we've done before. So obviously with the actual uh, kind of baseline test that we did, but also as well, um, we did the repeated sprints last week. So this is a little bit more of that endurance based uh, performance. So again, it's a little bit about pacing yourself and some people might argue that actually you don't really need to you know train necessarily for this and some people would argue that you don't need to do 5k's 10k's or that kind of fitness for the hockey at least because it's not repeat sprints well kind of would disagree in a way you still need a baseline aerobic capacity and i think you know something like this it doesn't have to i'm not saying go and run a marathon but something like this to tick over that cardiovascular um, endurance um, will definitely help, particularly with recovery from those sprints. So that's what this can help to train and uh, hopefully, you know, a blend of both for the repeated sprints, but also a little bit of endurance work just on its own will hopefully kind of help our hockey. So that basically leads me to lap one done. I'm going to put you away for a bit and then I'll talk to you uh, in a few minutes. I've just reached halfway through this now and I have just made the full flap. So I'm doing quite well to be fair. I thought I'd uh, only get five or six on this one so I'm quite happy that I'll at least get five and you know I've got a little bit of uh, time that if I need to I can just uh, take it off the pace a little bit. But even if you can't go necessarily as far as myself, or you can go further than me, just remember, no matter where or how far you are, even a challenge could be to run for the whole 12 minutes. So think about uh, how you can best challenge yourself with uh, each of these different pre-season weeks that I'm doing. So again, over halfway, four laps completed, looking on track, hopefully, for at least that five or six mile that we said. I'm in the last 30 seconds, and uh, I am just coming up to halfway mark on this lap. So I don't think, well, we'll see if we can make it, but I haven't got much left in the tank now. I am blowing a little bit. Yeah, there's not much to go. Okay, five, 
Anyway, two, one. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, that was knackering. Okay, so, I, again, I'll take it to the kind of closest point. So to be honest, I'm gonna backdrop slightly here. So, from the whole lap, I roughly ended up in the corner here. And halfway was about there. So, I've got just over halfway the lap. And then over there, we'll take a little bit closer. And like I said, I'd said I'd done kind of at least four on the last update. So I ended up doing seven and a half laps roughly in that 12 minute timer. Um, I can't remember the dimensions of Arky Pitch, but what I'll do is I can work it out. I'll put it kind of in the description. Hello, it's Future Me. Uh, just a quick one. For anyone who did do it on a running app, uh, I've got the dimensions of a hockey pitch. So uh, 91.4 meters long by 55 wide. So basically around that time of seven and a half. So I've gone all the way to the corner and total distance was uh, 2,241.7 meters. Uh, so just over two kilometers. Right, back to the end of the video. Um, but that is basically the 12 minute Cooper run and uh, I just like to uh, put a disclaimer out there I did a slight warm-up before we do this and then I'm also going to stretch after this so just remember those warm-up and cool downs again if people want me to take it through a kind of a full warm-up explanation and a cool down as well then please let me know but that is basically what we're going to do today that is the Cooper run and that is pre-season week three so very something very slightly different however Especially with the 12 minute Cooper run, it's trying to increase that intensity to try and go kind of as far as we can in that. So like I said, I predicted five or six, I got seven and we'll say seven and a half, just over seven and a half, which is pretty good job saying I underestimate myself. So again, measure this either map by run or um, kind of Strava, anything like that. Um, or you can do it like I've done it and uh, that is the Cooper run test so again thank you for watching week three and then again I'll come back with another video for preseason week four and then we'll retest the week after take care see you guys soon